bad. Is there a single accent I do well? <laughs> eh? All right, guys. It is going to indeed be Britons versus Bohemians. Yo's going to be in the blue as the Bohemians to the east and to the west in the red as the Britons will be Tato. <laughs> ya hoser. No, no, no. The loser goes down to the loser's uh, bracket. Wait. Oh, that's a bit awkward. Just mistiming it with the uh, the deer lure. Yeah, that shouldn't be too big of a deal. He is Britons. <laughs> From Idaho. Goes great with beer? I'm sure it does. Alrighty, so what do we think of this matchup, guys? Hofnitza and Britain archers do a great job of killing each other. So that's a very odd matchup. But... You know, you still have the potential for Hussite wagons, but this map can also go very aggressive. And Britons are a bit of a better aggressive civ than our Bohemians, in my opinion. Um, tat. Toe. Okay, that's awkward. That's a lot of idle time. Oh, he's focusing over here. Lost a sheep to Mr. Yo. 23 months forehead. Fide with the 23 months. Thank you so much. Ready. 23 months forehead. Ready. Uh, losing a sheep as Britons is so feels bad, man. I mean, it's not the end of the world for Tato, but he's had a kind of a rough dark age. Have more range than Bombard Cans? No. They have 12 range. 13 with Siege Engineers. Same as Bombard Cannons. They do move faster, though. With the uh, Wagenberg Tactics. Mandatum? Oh, he's going to go for the lame? Oh, Mr. Yo, out for blood, man. Oh, my goodness. And now the hunt is up. But who is hunting whom? Oh, Yo, getting a little far ahead. Oh, but the deer there helping out with the line of sight. Again, it's always fun to go to Gaia's POV when you're uh, looking at a, lo a lame. Oh, my God, look at all of this. Why is there so much, like, Gaia map reveal or what? Oh, no! Yo, screwing that up right there. Yeah, what, what is going on with all of this uh, Gaia vision here? That's pretty funky looking. Anyway, ooh, look at this Tato going forward as well. Fish? No, not on the land over here. All right, okay. No, no, no. Script, yeah, it's a map script trick, 100%. All right, Tato grabbing Loom, looking to go up on 20 pop. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, just a tiny bit of idle time. Oh, we've seen Tato wall his opponent in. Oh, we're doing it, guys. And why are you going up on 20 pop, then? Meanwhile, Yo goes up on 21 pop, so no FCs today. At least on this map. Yeah, but I feel like if you're going for the wall of your opponent in strategery, you would uh, try and go for a fast castle behind it. 
you know, use it to cover your greed. And you just wall in the back like this, and then you keep yourself nice and safe. No, walling in your opponent's a legit thing. I mean, he's kind of like walling him out of the middle, if you want to think about it like that. Even going to pick up an outpost over here. And I think that Tato's going to try and go for some archers, do a bit of a loop de doodle see if you can pressure on the sides, and then just take it to Castle Age. Seems to be a pretty common uh, strat that we see on this map. Oh, a little bit of a punch right there. Tato now going for Double Bitax. And that's a forward archery range from Tato. Now Yo's going for his own archery range, and he's going to have the free gold mining upgrade to help him out. Both players grabbing Double Bitax. Well... Yeah, Tato's a little cheaper over here. Horse Collar now coming in for Mr. Yo. The Tato has very nice food income from here in the, the middle. And it's going to be an archer. And Britons are just going to have those faster working archery ranges on top of Tato having his own range up faster. Ooh, range number two. Yeah, Yo sees exactly what's going on. But Yo currently has zero villagers on food. Not the greatest. Oh, Scout of Yo's goes down right there. Got an archer and a skirmisher coming in. Yeah, neither player really with much food didn't come in. This is where the middle is really helpful for Tato. Oh my goodness, look at this. More walls, and now a watchtower incoming, too, to deny that stone. Oh, but Yo recognizes this and is going to go for his own defensive tower, but Tato's... Well, it's going to go up. There's no real way to deny that. I, I mean, I think both players' towers are guaranteed to go up, pretty much. And... yeah. Ready. Ready. Uh, but Tato's going to actually rush up the uh, Palisade Walls. Oh, is Tato going to go for the old loop-de-doodle? Oh, wait, he never got flushing. That's kind of weird. Tato loves towers. I mean, Tato is definitely a tower fan. Okay, there's flushing coming in from him. Yo, I don't believe has... Oh, no, Yo does have a blacksmith. Do you get it cheaper? Some skirms now on the way. Wait, where are Yo's Yo archers? Oh, here they are. Three of them going to be going for a counterattack. Tato's forward villager is going home. Don't really see Tato taking much damage. He never even milled on the outside because, well, he's on the inside. Now, neither player is mining any stone. Okay, Yo's just going over to it right now. Tato is also going over to it right now. Oh, but the scout is over here. Going to get a kill. Where having that starting scout is actually really helpful. Oh, that villager of Mr. Yo's is going to be probably dead. Yes, Tato stalls a sheep over here. The, oh, from Fletching is in. That's some nice micro from Tato, though. Gonna get another kill right there. And again, your starting scout can be such a valuable tool in so many situations. And, like, what does Yo even have right now? A tiny villager lead? And even then, that guy's gonna go down finally. Uh, I mean, Tato is farming a little bit as well, and he can just drop a mill in the back here if he wants to get some more shore fish. More skirms are on the way, but <laughs> this 9 HP scout can actually be really annoying in that regard. And that Palisade Gate's getting kind of low.
four skirmishers here. Still no padded archer armor, mind you. Oh, wait. The archers are attacking the house. That's kind of awkward. I was like wondering, man, that palisade gate's lasting a long time. Oh, gonna start to pick off the archers and the scout. I mean, it's gonna go down in nine hits. Oh, look at that. Yo, moving forward with two skirmishers exactly just to maximize the amount of damage he can do. Tower War still seems to be going on over here. Looks like Tato... Oh, yeah, it was just the one villager kill from earlier. Towers haven't killed any vills on either part. Stable now coming in from Tato. Want to continue to invest in Feudal Age. Gonna lose that tower, though, and is... Okay, yeah, that tower is in range. No, that was just an archer. What went wrong from Yo? I don't think Yo is in a bad spot. I mean, Tato took some nice fights early on, but Yo's, Yo's doing fine right now. He's going to run away with these uh, skirmishers. Now going to pick up a market, dropping another defensive watchtower over here. And Tanto does have nine archers. He's going to actually garrison them in this watchtower, <laughs> as we've seen so many times throughout the series. Now, Yo switching into archers. That is going to be very helpful for his castle age time. 19 bills on food to 17, 14 farms to 11. But Tato also with the middle still, and he's taking from those okay. shorefish. Economically, Yo's actually a little bit ahead in terms of food collected. Tato with way more gold. And Tato himself is getting a market. Good old market rush. And, I mean, we should be seeing pretty similar Castle Age times. Yep. Need a little bit more food, Mr. Yo. Come on. There we go. Meanwhile, Tato can pretty cleanly click up after this villager, I think. Just needs a... Yeah, there we go. Unreasonably angry about Tato's sheep. Well, he's, he's taking it now. So, I mean, yeah, Mysterio's going to be, like, what, 25 seconds faster to Castle Age? Couple scouts here from Tato. Murderized. That's one way of putting it. So what is the mid-game plan going to be? Both players are mining stone. Both are repairing this tower. Uh, Tati is just now getting horse collar, so... Yo has had that uh, bit of an advantage so far. Oh, nicely done there. Padded Archer armor is not in yet, so the archers are still dealing two damage. And now the scouts are coming in, and those skirms are going to be in for a pretty sad time. Oh, getting a little blocked right there. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it, Zanzibar, is he? I mean, I'm enjoying it, but, you know. I just love me some AoE, too. e -skirm and Bodkin are on the way. There is a Monastery. Now, neither player has enough stone for a castle. Bodkros off for Tato. And are we just going to be seeing extra TCs added in? It looks like on... What? Whatever. He's adding in a TC. <laughs> Moral of the story is he's adding in a TC. Uh, no leather archer armor just yet. Still, population's dead even, and this is really anyone's game to take here in uh, game number five. I think Yo is actually going to want to go for the castle drop, like, right here, and go fast imp. 
feel like he doesn't want to take this to a, like a macro game. I mean, Yo was pre getting pretty close to the resources. Now we have some knights on the way here from Tato. Oh, gets a nice little villager snipe. That's cute. Yeah, I think he's going to click up as soon as Wheelbarrow's done. Looks like a Siege Workshop now here from Tato. Yeah, still, Tato's going to be slowly accumulating some knights here. And Mr. Yo does not yet have another building. Okay, there's the Universidad. Yeah, he is getting fervor for those bills. Now look at those speedy bills. They don't even have handcart yet. Imps on the way, guys. But like, what are you going to do with it? It's hard to go for a slow push on this map because Britons can expand all over the place. But the thing is, their armies are pretty slow is the, you know, that's the issue. Oh, Knights and Crossbowmen are going to be coming in. And Tato might recognize the Fast Imp for what it is, as he sees the uh, score drop. Oh yeah, Tato, I think, actually uh, was not able to range the bills, uh, unless he deleted, which he did do. And I mean, Tato's a pretty big population lead right now. And yeah, like... It's going to be very slow to just sort of, like, clunk your way across the map. Oh, and that's going to be a lot of dead builds for Mr. Yo. Tato, looking good. There's chemistry coming in. Is that open? Is what open? I'll rip those crossbows. Bowsaw coming in. The thing is, Tato doesn't really have much of an army. He's adding in a fourth town center. But Yo is, like, going to just have trebs. He doesn't have an army! <laughs> is he, uh, he's not forced to by the Civ matchup. He might think he's forced to by the game state. No, oh, well, he means can take it, like, late versus Britain. Well, happy Imperial Age, and it's actually going to be for a Bombard Cannon and Bracer, but he only has six bills on food, which is not exactly what I would call impressive. Oh, Monk coming back home, and it's going to die. Chain Barding Armor on the way. I'm like... How good are these Bombard Cannons really going to be? Huh, well, one Bombard Cannon's out, another is on the way. Skirms have all their attack upgrades, but Yo is still going to be vulnerable from the back here. Tato's still pretty far away from him, though. Mandatum? Of course, gotta be careful of the mangoes. And Tato doesn't have a castle, but he's on four TCs. I mean, yeah, kill everything. And now Yo adds another TC in the middle. Ugh. That feels a bit rough. Flat. Yeah, most of them are. But he's getting some stables back at home. I feel like if Tato just masses knights here... Like, I know Britain knights aren't that great, but in this particular situation, I feel like they're going to be everything you need. Wait, what? Using the Bombard Cannon like that is kind of weird. Tato's 
Tanto building up more and more armies at 107 population to 59. And it's not like Yo has more skirms on the way, which is like the weird thing. Like now he's dropping some monasteries, I guess. Yay. Now getting forging, more knights on the way. I mean, it's only seven skirmishers. These knights with husbandry and plus two defense can kill that. And Yo's going to need to be so careful right here. Already falling back. He doesn't even have ballistics, remember. And now Yo tries to add in the third TC. This just feels like it's way too little, way too late. Oh, knights can go for the bombard cannon. Every single one that dies is just so impactful. And right now, Tato is absolutely massively ahead. And look at those resources tick up for him. Oh, wait. Was that a huge hit? I think it was. Sanctity coming in, I guess. But he's going to need another Bombard Cannon. I don't know why he's not using the market more. More stables on the way. Light Cav upgrade. Tanto has 41 bills on food. To be fair. But, I mean, he's just ahead in everything except tech right now. And that's fine. Oh, huge night run by Yo is going to need to get some walls here to defend. Uh, this is probably going to be super rough, though. Oh, my goodness. Huge counterattack right here. That house foundation is not going to last very long. Contingency walls coming in, and Tato going to want to book his ticket to the quarterfinals. Block printing coming in, but this just feels like it's so late, and, like, Tato's not even bothered about the center push. It's, like, happening so slowly. Now he's getting a castle up at the back. He's going to be clicking up to Imperial Age very soon. He's at double the villager count of his opponent. I mean, yes, he was on three TCs, but Tato's soon going to be on five TCs. Like, he is doing just fine in that regard. And Tato can just keep this town center repaired for a pretty long time. Now we have a bunch of light cav on the way. And Yo just doesn't have any actual, like, army here. It's pretty much just, like, monks and, like, some bombard cannons. Like, there, there just needs to be some meat to this army. Yay. Splat. Oh, like have are potentially revealing themselves. Huge, huge attack right here. This is going to absolutely annihilate every one of Mr. Yo's monks. Wait, did they just all lose their faith on... What? Whatever. This is going to be a, a horrifically one-sided fight in favor of Tato. Yep. It was a horrifically one-sided fight in favor of Tato, all right. There's Imp on the way. This is looking pretty darn over. And we really just have to question as to, like, why Yo felt he needed to go for this all-in. I don't really understand the, like, burning necessity... Now I'm going to try and come in with a forward castle, but, like, that that's fine for Tato. And this is going to have a huge army come in. Okay, granted, those are some pretty nice quick walls, but it's five pikemen right now. And all those units are going to get surrounded and killed. Now, the castle's going to happen, but, like, the castle it doesn't really matter that much. Oh my god, he walls in the Bombard Cannon. That's so cute. Oh, a couple longbows, man. Now you have Elite Skirmisher on the way. And Yo just doesn't have anything.
I mean, it's like you're going to try and get to Halb Hofnitza with 72 Vils, and your opponent is already going to be going into every possible counter. This could very easily be an Imp GG. Is idle time for Yo? Yeah, basically. And guys, it looks like Tato's going to break his match point curse. Like, Tato will just start making traps, and, like, there's nothing Yo can do to really stop that. Getting plus four defense, getting capped ram. And, and this push is just way too slow, and Tato did such a beautiful job of applying pressure on the outside. Just keeping Yo from really getting that... You know, strong push across the middle. Hey man, it's nine pikes with Bohemians now. And no upgrades. A <laughs> Hussite wagon, a random ass Hussite wagon, why not? Yeah, even with 28 damage. Okay, that's a that's a bit of a slaughter. Um, what are you doing, Mr. Yo? Now we got a Trebin Oh my god. Yeah, you're not getting anywhere in this game, Mr. Yo. Tato at 150 pop. He is ready to go. To the uh, quarterfinal. Yeah, that's, that's the one. Um, well, well, um, okay, that was weird. Okay, sure, whatever. What do I know, man? You're still down by like 60 pop. More longbowmen are on the way here for Tati. Now, granted, the light cav numbers are getting a little low, and now Mr. Yo actually does have a uh, more valuable army, so to say. Needs to keep on producing army, though. He just he doesn't have any army right now. Like, look at this. The light cav are going to run in, and like, what what are you going to do? Okay, you get an amazing set of bombard cannon hits, I suppose. Still, like, ever gonna snipe the trap, so that's something. Danger close firing right there! But, I mean, all the light cav are gonna go down. There aren't enough left to deal with all those pikemen. There are a couple trebs right here to help. Woo, woo, selling a lot of resources. Is Yo gonna stabilize? Yo is not gonna stabilize here, right? Tanto never got any relics, which I do feel like is a bit of a mistake. And Tato seeming to struggle for a uh, stone. Scale mail armor coming in. Vagenberg tactics? Oh my god. Yo is just like bombard cannons in a dream. That's all I need. And just a little bit of harassment on the other side. I mean, Yo does have the middle on lock, and the middle has so much gold and stone that, like, he's going to be fine for the foreseeable future as far as that goes. But now, huge, huge attack. Now Tato has the resources he needs, and Yo's not paying attention. Oh, but the pikemen are here. Tato deleting stuff. Bombard's going to try and get shots. Yo, with these repairs, one Bombard is going to fall. Longbow now 11 range. It's not like Yo has siege engineers. Yo can... Well, actually, Yohan can afford a lot of things right now. Tato almost out of stone, mind you. 
Oh, clips a long moment. I mean, yo is still keeping this interesting, guys. I still down 50 pop though, right? JFV Ruble, thank you so much for the sub with Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Wolfpack. Enjoy the beauty, glory, and majesty of Warnly Wolf. And friends, now it's the Hussite Wagon play. Oh my god. Tato buying a bit of stone. I mean, he's got kind of this, like, mixology army, but now Tato's lost a lot of the pressure he was applying on the, the backside, and Yo is kind of stabilizing there. He's got the, uh, the Wagenberg bombards. Oh, you cannot run into the castle fire. Oh, that's a huge fail for Mr. Yo. You just cannot lose archers, or, uh, bombard cannons to, uh, the archers that are located within the castle. There we go. But he's gonna have Halb, guys. And he's got the Hussite Wagen. Yeah, Tato's not going to have much gold left. I still think he should have gotten relics ages ago. And Yo's not going to run out of relics anytime soon. Or, uh, run out of gold anytime soon. Oh. I mean. This is still pretty scary. Tato almost out of stone. He's got uh, two trebuchets over here to help snipe random units. Gonna have chemistry in in just a moment. Looks like the bomber cans are gonna try and peel a little bit. Oh, he just you cannot take those shots right there, man. Oh, now Tato at maximum population. Oh, you just have to be so careful if you're Tato right now. Castle's getting worked away at. Tato has a few bills on stone, and now this Capdram push is going to be completely wrecked by those Mangonels. Uh-oh, Tato, that's not what you want. Yo still has a decent amount of resources left over there. Yo still barely has, like, any population, it feels. I mean, he just doesn't. He's, like, 60 pop behind his opponent, but he's at over 100 bills. Uh, the Trebs are going to start to work away again. Halb's skirms are on the way for Mr. Yo. He barely has any food income, but sure, whatever. Oh, Treb's going to get really low, actually. Uh, For both players, the repairs are coming in. I mean, it's just skirmishers, right? They're not really doing that much damage, and the scooty-scoot of the Wagenberg tactics are helping out here. Also, the... Va uh, the Hussite Wagons might be negating some of the damage of the Skirmishers with their uh, special effect. Oh my god, guys, Yo has 4.3 army K to Tato's 2.4k! Oh, I do feel like Tato did need to commit to one side. This game, guys, Yo has a big score lead! And now that Treb goes down, Yo is just taking the fights of his life right now! Look at that KD, 205 to 115 in favor of Mr. Yo. Tato expanding everywhere, but Yo is just, like, not giving up. I thought it would even be an imp GG. Oh, now you're going to have Ring Archer armor in. The Hussite wagons, like I said, okay, no, uh, the regular ones are going to take more than uh, one damage. Take four damage a hit. Tato has a little bit of gold left, but not too much. Yo can actually afford Elite Hussite wagon. Oh my goodness, still Tato has a pop lead. Now getting crossbow, or Arv, just doesn't feel all that strong, but he doesn't have any castles. I mean, he has 19 longbowmen that he can't upgrade. Oh, big run by right here. The Bombard cannons are scooting away. He's got 4k wood in the bank. But how many times do I say on stream that being super far ahead and wood collected isn't really the biggest of deals most of the time? And that's where, I mean, yeah, there's also a lot more food collected, but still behind in gold and way behind in stone. And now we're going to have more Hussite wagons on the way. Yeah, Tato perhaps getting a little bit impatient. Actually can take that gold, potentially. And that's not getting relics, I feel like is a huge mistake. Yeah, Tato's really going to have uh, a struggle to destroy the castle. Uh, I would like to see Yo repair this castle, though, since it's a little low. Plate mail armor coming in. 
destroying those production buildings and oh man is is yo just so hard to finish off it's just like especially once you get to like the tippy tippy pop top players they are so difficult to uh, get rid of in a game Like, if they have a chance to make a comeback happen, they will take it, but still, like have gonna try and swoop in and get some Bombard Cannon Snipes. They are missing Blast Furnace, though, and, well, one's still gonna go down, which is not anything you're gonna complain about, but now Yo is gonna be pretty close to researching the Hofnitsa upgrade. Oh, the Ram Train has left the station! Ah, oh, but the Bombard's behind it, and there is Hofnitsa, guys! Oh, no. Stop making Rams. What else is he supposed to make? He doesn't have a castle! <laughs> And Yo has five. <laughs> oh, Jatro snipes the units right there. The power of Britain range. Oh, most of the bombards have fallen, guys. More are queued up, though, and Yo still has a ton of gold left because he has the middle of the map. Heck, he even has the, the golds in this little forest right here, and I think he has been mining it. Oh my goodness. What an insane game and an insane set. Uh, there's only one Bombard Cannon over here, but even the Halbs are going to be good enough against the, the Rams, I think. Oh, well, I mean, there are a lot of Archers behind. Oh, Lycav going for the Skirms. Archers going to be going first for the Cannon and then for the Halbs. Oh, now there's only one cannon left to be upgraded into a Hofnitsa, and not even just quite yet. Halbs are going to be poking away at the Rams, and no Siege Ram for Britons is a pretty feels bad man moment. Th no, Yo does not have Siege Engineers. Oh, and now Tato going for the trebuchets. Bill's going to try and come forward to repair here. Tato is throwing everything at this push, and now Yo is leading in population. Oh my goodness. Now Yo has Hofnitsa out. Oh my goodness, he's even pushing on the side as well, and like... Uh, Yo's resilience, his implacability... ...and his just raw tactical decision-making... ...it has just been instrumental in this series, that it has been so close and so well fought. Just continue to push across the middle, and Tato calls GG. Oh my god, that was such an insane comeback from Mr. Yo. Absolutely wild. Tato simply a little indecisive. He was sticking in Castle Age a long time. He had, like, this huge villager count, but was just not able to finish off his opponent. Tato, way more resources collected, but less gold and less stone, and it just couldn't make it work with trash units. 1.88 KD right there. Just, yeah, Tato simply could not finish him off. He just added more TCs. He was trying to play to the late game, but Yo was just so difficult to